Hello my dear students, welcome back to Vasavi virtual program. This is Satish Kumar, faculty of chemistry. Today we are going to discuss one important topic from matter around us lesson. The topic is a diffusion of gases. My dear students, you know that a diffusion is nothing but the movement of particles from higher concentration to lower concentration. Whether you take solid particles or liquid particles or gaseous particles, whatever it may be. So diffusion is nothing but the movement of particles from higher concentration to lower concentration. To understand the diffusion of gases, I am going to show you a small experiment my dear students. This. Here I have taken a, a glass tube and uh, the left end of the glass tube i added ammonia soaked uh, cotton and uh, the right end of the glass tube i covered with the uh, hcl soaked cotton and uh, after few minutes i observed the glass tube and i found that nh3 soaked cotton releases nh3 gas and that NH3 gas traveled longer distance inside the glass tube. And as well as the HCl soaked cotton released the HCl gas and that also traveled towards the ammonia gas. But after the observation, the ammonia gas diffused longer distance in the glass tube and the HCl gas diffused lesser distance in the glass tube. So I got a doubt here. Why one gas diffused faster and the other gas not? So I found the reason that is when I observe the ammonia gas molecular weight is that is only 17 grams and as well as the hydrogen chloride gas molecular weight is 36.5 grams. So from this point I got clarification that the gases which are having the lower molecular weight that can travel faster than the other gases which are having higher molecular weight. So in this experiment I found that Ammonia gas traveled longer distance in the glass tube due to its lower molecular weight and HCl gas diffused lesser distance in the glass tube due to its higher molecular weight and as well as we found one white color layer inside the glass tube when NH3 gas directly hit the HCl gas and the white color ring is equal to NH4Cl nothing but we can call ammonium chloride. So when NH3 gas directly react with HCl gas we will get a product the product name is ammonium chloride. The nature of ammonium chloride is a releasing of white color fumes. So that white color ring we can observe inside the glass tube which is near to the HCl soaked cotton. So why the ring NH4Cl ring is forming near to the HCl soaked cotton? Because ammonia is having lesser molecular weight than the HCl that is why ammonia gas is traveling longer distance in the glass tube and reacting with the HCl gas there is a formation of ammonium chloride near to the HCl soaked cotton. So this is what my children a diffusion of gases and from this point you have to understand always lower molecular weight having gas diffuse faster than the higher molecular weight having gas. So that's it my dear children. I hope you got it. Thank you.